Hi, welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video on how to remove and replace a showy CNS3 visor. Uh, today's example, we have the Neotech 2 here. So let's remove this visor. So we're going to open up the visor to start with. And if we take a look at the mechanism, we have a lever here, and then the whole base plate is also spring loaded. So at the moment, it's in a relaxed state. As you close the visor, it pulls the visor back on towards the helmet to make sure you get a good visor seal. So when we remove it, we're gonna to have to pull it away and then release the actual visor itself, like so. So lever down, and then pull the visor, and then off it comes. And the same this side. Again, lever, make sure the visor's in an open position, like so, pull the whole thing forward, and release it from there. So whilst we've got this visor off, we'll uh, take a look at the internal sun visor as well. Turn it slightly side on. What you can see on each side of the visor is a kind of small black plate. The plastic actually sweeps away from the visor so you can get your finger underneath it because there is a small pin. And when you lift that away, it will release the pin and then we need to just rotate the visor downwards and it will pop out. Uh, I personally find it easier to do with the, the chin bar open. So we're just going to open the uh, Calm it up. Okay, so we're going to get in underneath here. We're going to lift that away. And then we're just going to rock the internal visor downwards and out it comes. And you can see there, there's the little pin that I mentioned. So we'll do the same on this side. And again, just take hold of the visor, small little plastic clip, lift it away and just rotate the visor downwards. And that's your internal visor taken out. So to pop it back in, if I show you the side of this visor, you can see there is a slight lug there. So when we removed it and we had to rotate it down, it was because of this small lug here. So when we put it in, we're gonna to have to put it in facing down, in like so, and then lift it up for that pin to uh, locate into place. Okay, so we'll pop this internal visor back in. So again, if you look down in between the, the kind of cheek paddle EPS and the shell, you'll see there is a, a runner and that's the mechanism for the, uh, the internal visor to work. So we're going to go in with the visor pointing slightly down so we get this bottom part I mentioned in first. And then we're just going to roll the visor up so the pin locates correctly. You can hold the slider still just to stop it moving. And that's that one in. We'll spin it around and do this side. There we go. So the slider on this side, you can then just you just make sure the, uh, the visor works correctly so we know that is located correctly. So we'll now replace the, the external visor. So we'll just close up the chin bar. Okay, so when we remove this visor, we had to kind of pull everything forward. Uh, now if I look, if you look at the inside of the visor, you can see these aren't just straight bits of plastic. They kind of, they have an overhang. So we need to make sure these are located correctly before we pull everything forward to drop it into place. So what we're gonna do is just kind of roughly line everything up. This top part, this part circular one is the important one. This is the one I always put in first. And if I take the visor away, you can see this is its running channel. So this is where it needs to be located. So I'm just gonna pop that in there, line everything else up roughly. Then I'm just gonna slide the whole thing forward for that spring, just give it a good push and that's it locked into place. So you've got this one here in place, the lower one, and then the front one. The reason we pull the whole thing forward is this front one needs to be in place correctly. So you can drop it in and then let it hook back over its, uh, its runner. Do the other side. Again, we'll locate this top one. Like so, we'll line everything else up approximately. If you keep an eye on this front one, again, this is why we're, we're pulling it forward because that then allows this to drop over there and click into place. And that's your visor back on. So we'll open and close it. Just make sure it's on properly. Make sure you've got a good visor seal top and bottom. And there we have it. So that's how you change a showy CNS3 visor. Thanks for watching.